Hey, I'm Terrell Higgins, your real estate and personal finance nerd, and I live in the beautiful state of Texas. And let me tell you, fall and winters down here are phenomenal. But the summers, you can forget about it. It's 100 degrees every single day. But that heat has not stopped people from making some genius investments down here. And I'm not talking about the cattle. I'm talking about agricultural exemptions. So in the great state of Texas, there are no income taxes. And that's a great benefit, but they make up for it in their property taxes. So my wife and I own a few properties down here and they're all valued under $400,000. But the property taxes are between six and $8,000 a year. Not to mention how the property insurance is been skyrocketing with all the hurricanes and tornadoes and flooding. It gets very pricey to own real estate down here. But here's where it gets interesting. So if you drive around Texas or you spend any time in Texas, you'll see that people are sitting on hundreds and hundreds of acres of land down here. And you're like, how can anyone afford those property taxes? But they're using an agricultural exemption. So if you have five acres or more and you've been engaged in agricultural activities for the last five years and can show income from those agricultural activities for the last five years, you can apply for this agricultural exemption and it will drastically lower your property tax bill. I'm talking, you can take off thousands and thousands of dollars from your property taxes. So whether it's beekeeping or cattle or hay or timber, if you have an agricultural business, you can just apply with the state comptroller showing that you've been engaged in these activities for the last five years and you can get an agricultural exemption. And some of my coworkers actually have been doing this for years. So this is so cheat code because your taxes are lower on the property and any remaining taxes on that property, you can pay for using the income from the agricultural activities that you're doing on that property. And I've even heard of some of my coworkers buying property with this agricultural exemption already attached to that property. And then after they bought it, the property appreciated hundreds of thousands of dollars within the first few years of them owning that land. It's an amazing way to invest your money in real estate. And you get to hold on to that real estate and allow it to appreciate in value. It's a win-win situation. But here's the catch. You have to keep that agricultural exemption current. If you lapse on your agricultural exemption, you could owe three to five years worth of back taxes on your property. And it's going to take another five years for you to renew your agricultural exemption. And the last thing I wanted to talk about with this agricultural exemption stuff is kind of a bonus tip. It's called a conservation easement. So you can actually get an agricultural exemption on property and not actually do anything to the property at all. So I've heard of people who have rare bird species or a key estuary or waterway through their property and they actually apply for a conservation easement on their property with the government. And the government will pay you to just maintain the land as is and not develop it. And 
if you have a conservation easement on it, that easement can go for as long as 30 years. And you might end up having to transfer that easement to the next owner of that land. So if you know that you intend to sell your land, you might not want to do a conservation easement because it will block development on that land and it could crush your resale value. And if you want to know if investing in real estate is a good investment, even if there's not cash flow, I actually did a full video on this topic. And you guys can check that out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.